Hey guys, Empire Brick Studios here. So I'm basically calling this the lost episodes of uh, Solist, and this is basically like uh, where it all started. Um, before I show you, I want to say that like these like four or five videos was under a different name. Um, it was under like Brickmaster C53, which is what I actually started with when I started this YouTube channel. And then I realized that there's just too many people that had the name Brickmaster and then they all had like different numbers. So I was at work one day and I decided to just change my YouTube channel name. And so I changed it to Empire Brick Studios. I'm a huge Empire fan. So, and I'm actually really happy with that. So that's, that's where that came to be. And if you guys are wondering where like the previous episodes went, like how it all started, what got me into it, stuff like that. It's, it's all here. Um, the footage, this was done on my phone and the footage is not that great. So we're just, we're going to, uh, jump right into it. So if you guys are wondering where the Brickmaster 253 came from, uh, before I changed my name to uh, Empire Brick Studios. It's it's all here. <laughs> Let's get going. Hey guys, Brickmaster two five three here. Um, so my first real mock is going to be Solist, and this is from Battlefront because you never actually see it in the movies. Vader talks about it, but you don't actually get to see it. Um, this walker is supposed to be an AT-AT. -AT. It's not really to scale for this model, but you kind of get the point. Um, there's going to be a lot of cool stuff featured in this mock because I'm doing hangers. So that's a hanger. This is going to be a hanger. Um, and I'm also doing bunkers. I'm going to do a bunker there and then a bunker pretty much somewhat right there. Um... And the red and the orange just shows, like, lava, and that's just a platform. But it's it's going to be big, and a lot of this is just mountain work and rock detail and stuff. It, it doesn't look the greatest from the little model here, but you kind of get the point. Um, it's going to be more detailed in the real mock, and I'm going to be starting that in a few weeks. So like, subscribe, share, get it out there so you can see the start of the full scale mod and the cool thing about it <coughs> is this one is going to be a tie fighter hanger and i already have the tie fighter built and this one i think is going to be an atst hanger and so there's going to be a tie fighter there's going to be a few atsts and an atat -AT. not not this little guy but a real detailed scaled atat um, I'm really excited to start this mock, and it's going to be great. You guys stay with me, and you'll see it to the end. The goal, once I start it, is to get it finished by the end of December, right before January. So I can announce the next mock, and I think you guys are going to like the next one, too. The next one's going to be huge, and it's going to be a three-part series. It's going to be a big series, because it's such a big mock that I'm going to do. This one's going to be big, and I'm really excited to start it. So, yeah, like, subscribe, share, get it out there, and I'll keep in touch when I'm ready to start. should be a few weeks. I got some parts I need to order in, uh, get it started. It's going to be a lot of this stuff, a lot of these slopes and stuff like that, all for the rock work. Um, and I got a lot of my filler set up and organized. And I got one of the shield or what would you call it, um, the white that goes around the hangers, kind of keep everything in and out, shield, but uh, yeah, should be good, I'm, I'm really excited to start this, so uh, yeah, I'll get back to you guys in a few weeks once I start the first one, the first episode, alright, bye. Hey guys, Brickmaster253 here with my custom TIE Fighter, so let's get into it. I got this plaque a while back from a Lego store. Um, got the little cargo crate, or, yeah, cargo box, for his pistol, and it fits a thermal detonator in there. Pilot fits in there. Uh, it's opened up. So the front opens up, top hatch opens up. For the cargo, it goes right in the back, and it's got a little bit of an interior, 
He's got his targeting computer to take down some rebels. And uh, I don't know if you can see it. There we go. Um, button display for targeting those X-Wings. Um, I don't really know the piece count on this, but the wings, I counted the pieces on the wings, and it is over 100 per wing. I do like the webbing on this. I like the way I designed it, the, the gray webbing against the black. I thought that looks really cool. Um, going to the back, I do like the, the dish design that I used. I know it's not quite accurate to the TIE Fighter, and I might change that, but I do like how smooth this thing turned out. And um, compared it to the first order TIE Fighter, it is just a little bit bigger i still like both fighters like look at that that's really cool um that back the first order fighter is awesome i do like the custom fighter i built and i do plan on using this one in a future mock i just don't know which one yet um and i will be announcing the first mock in a few weeks i got some parts to get together and then i'll announce it so if you like this video, if you like the TIE Fighter, like, subscribe, share, um, and have a great day. Hey guys, our Ricky J over here. Um, so this is a Celest update, a small one at that. Um, I just finished this bunker. Uh, I know the lighting sucks, I'm sorry about that. Um, yeah, I'm gonna finish. Um, so yeah, I just built this bunker and this, I still have another one to make. This is just one of two. And it's, uh, for the assault on Solist. Um, the way this came out, it was actually pretty easy to build and it didn't even take that long. So that's the side and then the front and then the other side and the top. I know I'm going to even think that this has a functioning door. Or would you? Um, and then the back, there's not much to the back. Oh, I shouldn't have spoiled the little stormtrooper. Oh, well. Um, so yeah, and the way you, so before I get into opening the door, there's no other way to do it the way I was thinking, because you're going to have rock work all around here, all around the sides and on top, you know, right about here, there's going to be all that rock work. So it looks like the bunker's built into the mountain. And the only way I figured to open it is like so. Oh, uh, there we go. And then you got your stormtrooper. Yeah, the lighting sucks. Uh, speaking of lighting, that's, I think, the other thing I want to include in this, maybe in this little bunker area. I think I might add a little more behind it. Maybe get, like, a few more troops or something. and Or, like, a little hallway. And get some lighting going right there. Because... Pretty much right next to this bunker is going to be the huge uh, TIE Fighter hangar. And you'll see what I'm talking about once I get started on it. But yeah, I thought that was really cool. I know this is just a small update. I think this weekend I want to try to have a better update. Um, bigger, better update. I'm just waiting on parts. Yeah, and that I think this bunker is minifig scale because that's... I don't know how big those bunkers would be in real life, but that looks close to minifig scale. And it's pretty detailed. I know those bunkers were, I think they were just pretty much smooth, like where all these are. And I just, I added the texture brick, the, I added the texture bricks to give it a better look. I think it looks way better. Um, it would look good with the smoother ones without texture, but that does, that looks pretty good. So I was sticking with that. The lighting sucks. And it's not focusing very well. Uh, yeah, we got one real mad officer right there. Um, but yeah, so. <laughs> um, I think that's pretty much it for this update. I'm going to try to have one this weekend. Um, yeah. And then we can get started on it. But I like the way this bunker came out. came out really good i love the fun the way the functioning door is because nobody would even you know once it's put into the mountain 
no one would even assume if I told them that this has a functioning door. Oh, what? How, how does it open? Ah, uh, secret. Like that. And the door just pops out. And then you got your stormtrooper. And I think when I display it in the mod, or, you know, when I put it in the mod, I'll probably have the door closed. Parts of it close, and then I might do parts of it where it's open. I don't know. I'm, I'm trying to figure that out. So, yeah. Oh, it's pretty cool. Um, so, I should be able to see you guys this weekend, hopefully with a better update and maybe a better camera. Yeah, it's not very good. Lighting's not very good right now, but I'm getting better. I'm still working on it. But anyways, if you like the video, help, subscribe, like the video, um, or smash that like button, sorry. <laughs> um, and uh, yeah, keep on building. All right, guys, that's uh, pretty much going to do it for the uh, lost episodes of Solos. Um, yeah, so when I started this channel, I started with Brickmaster253, made the YouTube channel and everything, and then, like, just slowly started filming the little bits when I, like, got started when I was, like, before I even got my base plates and everything to start on Solos. Um, and then... I ended up getting a new phone, and, uh, so I lost my, uh, info, like, I completely forgot my password and everything, I know I could have made a new one, but I was like, ah, screw it, I'm just, I'm gonna make a new, uh, title, um, for the channel, so I'll just make a whole new YouTube channel, so this one's just sitting with, you know, like, four videos or something like that. <laughs> And then, like, the rest of mine are just keep going. And, yeah. So that's pretty much it. Um, I figured you guys would probably been wondering, like, where it all started. I know some of you that are on here uh, probably already knew, at least a couple of you, probably already knew from, like, this channel uh, how Celis got started. But for all the new people that you know, was wondering why I decided to do this planet, or how I got started to do this planet, um, this is how, and the other reason is, no one's done this, like, no one's done this planet on a full-scale mock, they've just, I've looked everywhere, typed in Lego Solus mock on YouTube, and all I've seen is just, like, small parts maybe a couple base plates or base plate or whatever. And those mocks are really cool. But no, I haven't seen anyone do one in a huge full-scale mock. Four by seven base plates. And so that's what I'm doing. I wanted to do something that, like, no one's done before on a full scale. And Solus is really cool. Like, we never actually see it in the movies. We just see it in Battlefront. So it's really cool that I'm doing this mock, and I'm really happy um, the way it's turning out so far. And I hope you guys are too. Um, there's still more Solist updates coming. Like, I have a few more videos coming out uh, before the finale. Or I at least have one or two before the finale. So, yeah. With that being said, I hope you guys like this video on how it all got started. And remember, keep on building.